Howdy everybody, Rocket here and today I'm in the Grayson Highlands. Um, I had original plans to go to the Whites, but after hearing some non-confirmed rumors of cars from out-of-state license plates being vandalized due to COVID restrictions, I made the decision to go south to some of my favorite parts of the AT that I am missing desperately. So I'll be here bobbling around the Grayson Highlands for a few days and hanging out in the Rhones. Since I did miss the Rhone Highlands last year, I really wanted to get back and check them out. So yeah, I only have about an hour left of daylight. So it's gonna be fun trying to find a campsite and get set up before dark. <laughs> so wish me luck. I'm really kind of emotional right now because I see something that has taken me a year to get back to. And I'm not gonna lie, for the last year I felt really, really lost. And oh, this is exactly what I needed. So you'll see here, Appalachian Trail. And as I spotted this, from many feet away is this. It feels very, very surreal being back here. But <sighs> Mount Rogers area and Grayson Highlands were some of my favorite spots on trail. Um, and at this point last year when I had crossed into the Grayson Highlands, we had just hiked 500 miles of the AT and I was really starting to finally feel comfortable on trail. It just feels really good to be back. But I don't have a lot of time before the sun is going down very fast. <laughs> All right, everybody, so I just got to camp. I hiked a whopping like one mile, um, but it was really beautiful. Just set up camp, I'm on this like vista, um, and the sunset is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it out there, but it's really beautiful, and I drove six and a half hours to get here today. I'm gonna do a small like 20 mile loop, and then gonna head to the Rhone Highlands which I think will be really cool so I'm just excited to be back out here <sighs> and seeing that white blaze really just made me feel really good it's kind of nice being out here and being away from the world it's so easy just to get like swept up in things and forget you know the simplicity of trail life and whew, either way I'm very excited to be here and I can't wait to see what tomorrow holds supposed to rain off and on for the next couple of days so we'll see if I still have that true AT grit. Good morning everybody. Rocket here. I've been laying in my tent for a couple of hours and it's really foggy outside so I'm just waiting for the sun to come up and be a little warmer so um, I'm just hanging out and waiting but it looks like the sun might be peeking through some of the fog so I'll be probably getting up here shortly. AT last year. This was one of my favorite spots. Feels good to be back.
here this definitely was my favorite part of the Appalachian Trail up to uh, New England when we hit the whites which um, as some of you probably know I decided it was I was stuck between going to the whites and coming here and because of COVID and all the things going on a lot of native New Hampshire and New Hampshireites a lot of um, folks from New Hampshire were messaging me saying that there were instances of cars with out-of-state plates getting vandalized at the parking lots for the um, trailheads and stuff so instead of risking it and trying and getting people mad at me I decided to come south to Virginia where I'm really happy that I did because it's gorgeous down here and not too many people at all I've only seen maybe four people so far and I'm sure in New Hampshire and the whites it's like uh, just tons of people like it always is on the weekend so yeah it's very peaceful I got to sleep alone under the stars with the crickets and it's really just like rejuvenating to be back out here wish I was out here with my tramleys wish they were all out here with me makes me really really miss their company remember last time I was here at the Thomas Knob Shelter. It's a little bit different this year, a little more somber. There's no one here, which I guess is kind of reminiscent of the trail this year. So kind of sad, but also a cool memory when we got greeted by the Grayson Highland ponies. Did I really expect it like not to rain when I uh, want to go on a little backpacking trip? Of course it's going to rain. It's rained every single time. Um, luckily it's not cold, but it is wet. Guys, I'm about to show you the biggest fungus I have ever seen. Look at this. Look at that thing. Here's my feet for reference. What the hell? I've been sitting here reading for a couple of hours and it's just so peaceful. I'm just here soaking up the sun, letting all my stuff dry out. It's a quiet afternoon. I did 14 miles today. Or like 13 miles today, which was pretty painful. I have to remember that I have no hiker legs. <laughs> Good morning! I have just a few odd miles back to the car where you will see I'm on to the next location on our magical memory mystery tour of the Southern Appalachia. So I just have to say something because this time last year or last year in general, I didn't feel like a badass. Um, I just felt like I was out here doing it. But as someone who's hiked for two days, the way my feet, ankles, knees, hips, back, and shoulders feel, like I felt that way every day last year on trail. Like just sore and tender and raw. Through hikers are very much so badasses. All right, everybody. I'm really a sad because I looked at the weather when I found some service um, for the Roan Highlands, which is where I was gonna go back and check out now that it's not hurricaning like last year when I was there. And it turns out it's gonna rain for the next 24 hours um, on Roan Mountain and the Roan Highlands um, and Roan, Tennessee. So. Instead of repeating last year where I was miserable, I am packing it up and going home, which sucks because I wanted to go see the Roan Highlands and I wanted to take you guys along with me. But as you know, in the world of hiking, the weather is king. I decided that I'm just gonna go home. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna cut this trip a little short by a day. 
However, I do think I got everything I needed from going back to Grayson Highlands, seeing the ponies. I got to see some turkeys, saw lots of bunnies, some birds, and a couple of deer, and just felt like I was healing again in the forest. Um, I just want to leave you guys with one little bit of kind of revelation that I had out there. And the reason why I think people feel so good in nature is because everything is alive. It's like this ecosystem that is just all intermingled and it all works together and it stays alive, it stays healthy, it balances itself. So when one thing is, is off balance, the, the ecosystem works at balancing itself back. And I just think that that's why we feel such good energy when we're out in the forest is because everything out there is like alive and working in this system. And I think a lot of times we forget about we forget about that energy when we're living in a concrete jungle. We're living in between four walls with electricity coursing all around us and the wires and just everything like that. And I know this is going to sound a little too far-fetched for some of you, but in my opinion, I just feel like when I'm out there in the woods, in the forest, in the landscapes with the dirt beneath my feet, like I feel that energy of like the earth around me. And then that's what I think is really, really healing and cathartic for me. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I know it's kind of a little too granola for some people, but I'm headed home and I'm having a really emotional connection with this trip just because, you know, I'd been to the Grayson Highlands before and it's kind of like this nostalgic feeling and getting to drive through Virginia when I walked through it last time is just kind of really cool to get to kind of remember how I felt. Um, I've passed so many different landmarks like Damascus and Watuga Lake, like just the different signs for those places. I just want to leave you with the idea that if you're struggling to find like your happiness after your through hike or you haven't through hike but you are thinking about it, just go sit outside, go sit in your tent for a night and you know I feel like you're gonna feel a lot better in the morning. Thanks so much for coming along with me on this little tiny through hike of the Grayson Highlands. I will link my all trails map that I chose to follow for this um, 20 mile round trip loop of the Grayson Highlands. Um, there was also an alternate if you don't want to park at the backpackers parking lot, which does cost money and a reservation. Um, I will link that second option, which is two miles longer, also down below in the information of this video. Really hope you guys like coming along with me. It was really nice to get to vlog again in the way that I know and love. And for now, this is Rocket signing off.